in Better Food today. We are focusing on seafood. Evan Appel is the executive chef of Brizo Fish, the new restaurant in Rocky Hill. And Amanda Fromworth is the general manager. They're telling us about the new restaurant and teaching us how to make Tuscan style shrimp and grits. It smells delicious in here, and there's nothing better than shrimp and grits. I just uh. think it's fine. I don't see a lot of grits on the menus in Connecticut, so I'm glad you're kind of bringing it to us. Oh, yeah, they're good. We try and bring, uh, we're starting brunch April 7th, and we're, so we're trying to bring a little bit of a southern flair to the oh, brunch cool. menu. April so 7th maybe even is like, this yeah. weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe if people are looking for a place for uh, Easter brunch or yep. Mother's Day, yep. some, so southern flair. But the focus is seafood, Evan? Yeah, we um, we kind of live by an acronym uh, at Brizo. It's uh, FISH, uh, Fresh Innovative Seafood here. So we like to bring somewhat familiar dishes and kind of put my twist on them or just try to change them up a little bit, make it a little more refreshing and new to, to people's uh, I have an acronym myself. It's AT&T. Eat. Oh, that doesn't work. I was going to say. Think about that. And I'm all the time. <laughs> All the time. I eat all the time. <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. So um, you're showing us how to make your shrimp yes, and grits. Yes, yeah, I am. Absolutely. Um, so right here I have um, a goat cheese, oregano, and um, Parmesan polenta. That's kind of our little oh play on gosh. it because I have a history in um, cul Italian culinary. So wow. it's actually polenta. It's not really grits, but it's kind of they're yeah. more or less the same thing. So I, I made that earlier because it takes a little while to make. But then what we're going to do is we're going to start out by having a pretty decently hot pan. We're gonna have, uh, you know, four pieces of shrimp here. Big ones. Yeah, big ones. You need to fill people up. Whoops. What do you, if you want a shrimp that size, what do you ask for when you go to the fish That one? is a uh, 10, uh, 812 shrimp. Um, okay. They're gonna... They're Isn't that funny, because when I always see it in the bag and it says eight to 12, I'm thinking that's the count. Right, like, oh, I need more I than need that. I need more than that, but <laughs> that's actually the size of the shrimp. It's actually how much it'll take for that to become a pound. Else. Okay. It's usually between eight and 12 oh. is what it takes for it to become a pound. Yep. Isn't that, oh. There you go. So I added a little bit of pancetta to the pan. Um, once again, kind of putting a little bit of the Italian flair, I guess you would say, and for my, my culinary history. Um, that's gonna replace what they usually put in as, as bacon. So that's gonna give it a little saltiness, a little um, like an umami flavor, gonna be, give it a nice, uh, you know, nice saltiness, you know? Yep. That way we don't have to add any salt either, so it's fairly low in sodium. So, okay. and then after that, we're gonna take, um, this is uh, sun-dried uh, tomatoes, as well as um, reconstituted uh, mushrooms. That's what we also made the sauce out of. The sauce is a sun-dried tomato jus, which we have here. It's actually just the liquid in which we poach these um, the tomatoes and mushrooms in, because I, I believe in using everything, you know, so I got to use that. I took that and I just reduced it down with some herbs, a little bit of, um, you know, stock, and um, that's what's gonna be our sauce for this dish. So this sauce, this dish can essentially almost be done in maybe like two or three pots. Wow. Yeah, it's very easy. Um, and you're cooking them so it doesn't matter how many pots you use because we just get to go sit down. And then <laughs> tell us a little bit about the vibe in the restaurant. Do you welcome the high chair crowd? Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. yeah, we welcome um, families. Uh, so it's definitely a more innovative style restaurant. You go in, it's got the shiplap walls. We've got nice handmade wood tables. A lot of like the blues, kind of like your dress we've got uh, going on. So you definitely fit right in. Uh, the menu, like Evan says, it comes from all over. There's some Asian influence, some Italian influence. We also have a little bit of the Southern American influence in there as well. Uh, there's a great bar there as well. Uh, we've got a bunch of fun, different, innovative cocktails. Our soon-to-be-famous Seafoam Dream cocktail. Did got you do that, Scott? Yeah, over we, there. Got, we got to take a look at that. What, what, what exactly is that? It looks like, as Kara was going to say, it looks like dish detergent, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, I know it looks good. It's just like that's kind of what happens, but I was wondering how you get the bubbles. So the bubbles, we use a fruit juice, and then there's two proteins in there, and then I actually use a fish tank aerator to make the bubbles, and wow. then we just put them on top of the martini, and they'll actually hold for a little while. I mean, that one's been sitting for about... A little 30 minutes maybe. So mm -hmm. These are great brunch drinks. Looks like you have sangria, Bloody Marys. Yep, so for brunch, we do have a bottomless cocktail. So on there, we've got some mimosas, bellinis, sangria. We also have an amazing Tito's uh, Bloody Mary bar. So you can go up and you can put your shrimp, your bacon, all your fixings you on there. You make your own a yep, bloody, it it's there. like a buffet for a Bloody Mary? Yep, I give you the box and you make the Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary bar? You gotta love that. Oh, that's, that's absolutely awesome. fantastic. That's fun. All right, so you added your, uh, your juice? Yeah, my tomato jus. It's just basically, like I said, it's the the 
the liquid, we reconstituted the uh, sun-dried tomatoes in because they come dehydrated. So right, we got about a minute left in the segment. Just so you know. okay, it'll be melt down and melt yeah. a little bit. And butter. I know you brought your finished product, so you're going to melt that down. But um, there's a salmon burger here. What else mm -hmm. do you have to show? Well, that's going to be our breakfast plate. It's basically essentially the you know what you get at most other places, except we have a little bit of a southern twist on. We have andouille sausage up there. Ooh, we have uh, house-made biscuits that we make. Uh, we're going to be making fresh daily. Um, also, a little bit of Cajun-style hash, uh, potato hash, and um, little scrambled eggs, eggs of your choice. You but know? there's, I, you know, I'm always like, where do I go for brunch? Where do I go for brunch? Where yeah. do I go for brunch? So this answers the question. You come right to Rocky Hill, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah. All right, so uh, we, we do have the finished product there. That looks amazing. Uh, I could start playing this right now. Yeah, it's all set. There you go. It. So you just put a little, you know, a little couple, maybe about a cup of uh, polenta down at the bottom. Beautiful. Your little technique, you just hit it. Oh, look at that. Flattens out a little bit. Yeah. All right, while he continues to uh, plate up for a fun night out and delicious food, be sure to check out Burizo Fish, located right on Cromwell Avenue in Rocky Hill.